my comedy career, so did I, even my hair, apparently, because it was coming all off me, what's going on in the world, honestly, what's going on, do people think this world is going to implode, Do people think aliens are going to come? I don't know. Save them or take them away to experiment on them? I'd probably rather prefer that. Do people think they're just going to die because they can't handle sick shit they heard? I just don't get it no more. Yes, this life sucks. It is not the tits, unfortunately, and if it is the tits, it's not no nice, pretty, voluptuous, voluptuous tits, okay? It's a little saggy, yucky, disgusting, Belmondo cheese tits, okay? But, if I hadn't said it once, twice, three times, a lady, you cannot control the scenario. Nope. And let me stop with this and say, and whether you believe in God or not, you better believe there's a higher power because if not, you're going to fall for fucking anything. And that is a saying out there in the world. God! Or whoever you think. Myself. <laughs> Grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Not on my own. The courage to change the things I can, which is really just my, myself, me, myself, and my surroundings and how, where this goes. And the wisdom to know the difference, which means discernment, which means you can't change a whole world of people, but you can change you and help around you and, you know, you know give off some love and light. It's very disheartening. It's so sad. It's very sad because that well down in that to watch people be like that's it there is no reason to laugh anymore and this isn't even remotely funny anymore I guess these are people that are just ready to kick the bucket and get it over with and I get that too but and I know I'm going to get dark Unless you're taking yourself out or some horrific accident happens, you ain't going nowhere. So if you ain't going nowhere yet, why sit in there and dread and ponder over who did what and fucked the whole world up and made it bad? Why do that? I'll tell you why. Because most of the people that are doing that have a shitty laugh. Yes, they do. And I know because I'm one of them too. But see, we got to learn to be grateful. Now remember that word, grateful. Have faith. Be grateful that you woke up and you're fucking breathing. That's right. You know what? Be grateful that you can sit here and talk about what you know. Because most people are dead. Because they cannot, okay? Be grateful that, I don't know, you could probably walk around on two legs and have two arms and still shove food in your mouth. Let me go back to those days, yeah. Be grateful. I'm grateful that I'm sitting in the parking lot of Walmart right now, even though I can't stand this motherfucking store. No, I cannot. I can't stand it for the life of me. But you know what? 
I need it. I need something in here real quick. And it's only one little item. Now, people could say, well, what if I don't need that shit? Well, if you don't need it, you don't need the system, need none of that. Great. Go live off grid. You need nothing. You just need yourself, which means you need no clothes, no water, no toilet paper. You don't need none of that bullshit. No. And if you don't think you need none of that at all, well, good. I think you reached the monk status, probably. But even then again, monks wear, you know, some. <laughs> they wear shit over their body and, you know, read books and still do stuff. So they still need the system, too. See how that works? I'm going to say it for what it is. That's a lot of people just don't want to. They're too busy going around stroking people's egos because now they're fucking hurt and I don't stroke anyone anymore so I'm gonna stroke myself that's right it's just people being pissed off period and they're pissed you know why because they, don't, they have a life and they're living in a life and it sucks and now that they learn this great information that hey their life might suck and they might not be the cause of it. See how that works? I'm not the cause of it. The system is. Because now that I learned this gold, this grand information, I didn't bring about any of this. The system did. And again, again, <laughs> I was thinking that way. Ding. Yes, I was. I was like, everything I ever did in the world, created, whatever happened to me, was not my fault. That's right. And I had to stop and be like, wait a minute. No one held a gun to your head. No one tied you up and put you in a trunk and said, whoops, untie the bitch. She's going to do what we say. No, that didn't happen. None of it happened. I willingly did it. Maybe under false pretenses, but I did it, okay? And that's where the true power that is just so natural to people, but, you know, our leaders don't want us to leave it, that when you can climb out of that systematic bullshit, corruption shit, and realize, well, it is what it is. Yeah, well, that's where that statement comes in. It is what it is. And now, how are you going to live your life to the best? And have the best life possible despite the stuff going on around you that you cannot change. How are you going to do that? And it's hard. You got to deep dig deep inside you. You got to realize where you're going to put your energy at. And a lot of people don't even know how to read energy. Or their meaning of energy is different from the people they want to be. So it's like a big whole mind screw. But if you get back yourself in alignment and in cue with what you lack, what you would surround yourself with, things are going to help uplift your life and make it better because, again, we can't change the whole world. Then that's when you find the true freedom state of mind because heaven and freedom is a state of mind. It's not in the physical sense. It isn't. And it's hard because that also feels like it's in the physical sense because... We have been trained and programmed that we only exist in this physical body. But that's not the truth. And that's also another hard concept to grasp because a lot of, a lot of us only remember this physical form. So we're like, why are we going to worry about the other forms? Well, I'm here to tell you there's a lot of people out there that are aware of the other forms of themselves, not just the physical, physical sense. And they have learned that this is just a kind of a meat suit thing, like an avatar, like in a video game you've got to put on. And some people might take care of theirs a little bit better, and some were handed better avatars, okay? And there's nothing to get mad or overwhelmed or worked up about. It's just called dealing with life on life's terms, okay? Now, I think with that I'm out. Keep your positivity, man. It is hard. It's hard. But we were trained for this. 
we were not trained or made to be inherently evil, nasty motherfuckers. No, we weren't. We were made to be very powerful gods and goddesses that, you know, aren't evil and mean and would never hurt or treat another out of character. See? But the programming came along and did it. So a lot of us have gotten back to that child mentality. Don't get me wrong. Adult body, whatever the meaning of an adult is these days. But got back to that child mentality and we no longer see the evil and the mean and the nastiness. We also ain't gonna dwell down in the shit pond of shit we cannot control because you cannot control. And if you think you're gonna control a scenario, well, I'm sorry. Not sorry. Now you fall in a group of what's called cultism. And you're like, let me get a whole bunch of people to help change the world with me. Why? Because my world is not right. And since my world isn't right, I want solutions and changes and everything to fucking go right. Well, guess what? Most of those people you're trying to talk to to get them to do it, they're comfortable with what they got going on. And they're more than likely comfortable treating people like shit and probably using you. Just because they're playing off your feelings and the fact that you want to run around and start some kind of crazy <laughs> militia to take down people that you couldn't touch with a fucking canyon or a 10 foot pole, submarines, drones. You get what I'm saying? And with that, Have fun while you can because life is short and you are not promised like five minutes from now. And if you are, do you want to go down thinking, motherfuckers, I wish we would have saved the world. I know I don't. I want to go down like this. Cheers.